and welcome back once again for another ship hunting journey here at the game hub and this is journey number 10 with 34 new sentinel ship locations the ships i'm showing today range from class b to class s however only one of them is actually a class b the rest are a and s but don't ever be put off by a class as you can if you want change your purchases to free to upgrade any ship to s for free so that's always worth bearing in mind if you do see a ship that you really like that's not an s doesn't always have to be an s there are other options now one thing i would like to touch on before we get into today's video is players that put down bases at the ship spawns it's not a very nice thing to do let's face it lads and ladettes um some may see it as very selfish especially when you can glitch out the spawns a lot of players are getting frustrated for like they're wasting their time they're all your fellow travelers work with each other not against each other if you like a ship go and grab it fair play but please consider not putting a base down at the ship spawns i kindly ask right now the important stuff multiplayer must be disabled always disabled Beacons and save points will be placed at every ship's location. On top of that, portal address will always be shown for every ship on the ship itself. Ships are always in Euclid. Let's begin. Ship number one, class S ship now. Coordinates and portal address top of the screen. This is a hauler and the color scheme is red, black and yellow. Not bad. Three eyes at the front, no extended thrusters or prongs on the wings, but it does have a solid encased hauler style top and bottom so supercharged slots we have three grouped on the right hand side and one in the middle now in flight you can see clearly the encased back uh, not a lot's going to change on this as it is a solid encased ship moving on next ship number two on the list class b the only class b in the list today coordinates portal address at the top of the screen now this is a beautiful looking claw ship if you like these uh, now the reason I say beautiful is because I do like the white, it's white and gold, nice four eyes at the front. Now believe me, um, I took my time trying to find an S, couldn't find one. Supercharged slots, not a lot to show really as it is a B. Um, it is a nice looking ship if you like the yellow and gold style. They're quite rare compared to most other colour schemes. Not bad. Next. Okay, ship number three on the list. This one is a class A ship. Coordinates, portal address at the top of the screen. Now this one is a dragonfly style color scheme on this one is blue and black it does have the skinny wings unfortunately uh, other than that though it is nice if you like the chicken leg style not bad supercharged slots we have a look at them as an a class we can only see two but that guarantees that one of those locked slots there will be a supercharged slot so there's guarantees to be two groups at least uh in the air it looks quite nice but again everybody knows i am a fan of the full width dragonfly wings not the skinny ones next okay now ship number four another class a ship here coordinates portal address top of the screen now this is a sleek looking um wingless hauler with the big fat light on the front all black and a red engine it's not bad if you like these but i don't supercharged slots one on the left one in the middle one on the right could be a lot better in the air it just looks like it does on the ground unfortunately not a lot is changing on this one moving on next okay ship number five on the list is another class a ship portal address coordinates top of the screen color scheme green and white it does have the tank feet and extended thrusters on the top and wings supercharged slots are nicely placed three together sadly as an s they're not all together one is in the middle but still nice in the air again not a lot will change on this one no major transformations other than the tank feet tucking up and the wings dipping down let's move on shall we next okay ship number six this one is a class s ship color scheme on this one comes in red it is a tank feet style just a bug and tank feet uh, the free lights at the front and the board at the top um as you can imagine it's going to look pretty much the same in the air as it does on the ground. Supercharged slots, we have two in the middle, one on the left and one over on the right. And as you see in the air, nothing really changes other than the feet that tighten up as they pull up. That's about all you're going to get. Moving on. Next. Ship number seven. This one is a class A ship. 
color scheme on this one comes in yellow and green. Now this one is quite a rare color scheme. I haven't found too many of these. I did find a dragonfly in this style, but I think this may be only the second or third yellow or green. Supercharged slots, as a name, we can see there's two on the right and one over just past the middle. Now in the sky, it does look quite sleek. All that's gonna happen though mechanically is the wings lower slightly. Moving on, next. Chip number eight, class A, portal and coordinates top of the screen. Color scheme on this one comes in a white and black. Very nice sleek looking chip. Now if you like white, this one is worth checking even though it's an A. It does have amazing supercharged slots. Now as you can see here, we can see three over on the right as an A class. So when you take it up to the space station to make it an S, you get four over on the right. Now it's almost perfect. Look at that, one slot away. One slot away. Either way, it looks amazing. Now personally, I didn't pick it up because I couldn't warrant swapping it out for what I've already got. But this is a beautiful ship. Do you like it? Let's move on. Next. Okay now, ship number nine. Another class A ship on the list. All the details are at the top of the screen. Color scheme on this one comes in a green and black. It is a hauler style. Now, it's a very simple hauler style with just extensions on the back. Supercharged slots as an A class, we can only see two towards the middle. As an S, we see three in the middle and one over on the left. Not bad, not bad. In the air, nothing moves, unfortunately. Some of these haulers, they do twist and turn a little bit to give it some style, but not this one. But it's not bad. Next. Okay, ship number 10, another class A ship here. Very simple bat style ship. Color scheme on this one comes in blue and black. Details top of the screen. It does have an underboard that gives it the extended front and rear extended thrusters. Now at supercharged slots, we can see two on the right and one in the middle as an A class. In the air, stays very simple. The wings do get a bit more angle, but that's about it. Moving on, next. Okay, ship number 11, another S-class ship here, another hauler, a very nice looking hauler if you like this color scheme, teal and black. Now this one does have the solid encased back, top and bottom. Now I know a few people do like that and the prongs on the back do add to it. Now, as for supercharged slots, we have two on the right and two in the middle. And as you can see in the sky, it doesn't change much due to the fact that, like I say, it is a solid encased rear, but it does look nice. Next. Number 12. This one is a Dragonfly style, class A. Details top of the screen. Color scheme on this one is red and white. Unfortunately, it only has the skinny wings, but I've done a recent poll on the channel and 35% chose skinny wings as their preferred type. Hmm. Supercharged slots, we have two on the right and one in the middle. Uh, S-Class, you get two towards the middle. Now in the air, like I say, it doesn't have the full width wings, which I do personally prefer. I'm part of the 65% that like the full width wings. What are you? Let me know in the comments. Moving on, next. Okay, ship number 13. This one is an A-Class. Portal details and coordinates top of the screen. Color scheme on this one comes in a very simple blue throughout. Side and the bug body, all blue. Very simple. Supercharged slots, we can see two on the right and one over on the left as an A-class. In the sky, unfortunately, it doesn't really change shape much. It spreads a little bit, gaining a little bit of height, um, but that's about it. Hmm, not much to it. Next. Okay, ship number 14 now. This one is a class A. Details top of the screen. Another simple hauler style without wings. Uh, color scheme on this hauler is red and blue. Hmm. Do you like them this basic when it comes to haulers? Not me. Supercharged slots, we have one over on the left as an A class and one over on the right. Now in the air, Again, it's one of these ones that doesn't spread out, so it stays the same in the air as it was on the ground. Moving on, next. Right, 
number 15. Another simple style, but I know many people like these little bugs. Um, it's got the six eyes on the front, just red, very simple. Not a lot really to uh, say about this one, is there? It's a bug. Supercharged slots, we can see two on the right, but there's two empty slots, so that guarantees that it will be two at least close together when you uh, unlock them. In the air, nothing changes apart from the chicken feet disappear. Next. Okay, ship number 16, another class S, another basic, simple style. It's just a bug with the extension uh, top and bottom, and it's black. Four extended thrusters. Yeah, supercharged slots, two on the left, two on the right. Now, as expected in the air, nothing changes. Stays the same as on the ground, but some may like it, some may not. Next. Okay, ship number 17, another class A ship, and a rare one for me. This was the first and still only ever gray and yellow color scheme. Now it's a hauler, four eyes at the front, uh, solid in case bottom, but not top. Um, prongs on the side, supercharged slots as an A-class, we can only see two. Uh, as an S-class, two in the middle, and then the, just spread out really. But the color scheme, I really do like this color scheme and I hope to find more in it. Have you found this color scheme yet? First for me, next. Okay, ship number 18 on the list. Class A ship, details top of the screen. Very nice, very nice black style one here. Very simple, but multiple layers of wings, black. Bug body, black. Uh, supercharged slots, we have two shown as an A class. Hmm, as an S class, still not great, but they're not bad. Uh, in the air, it doesn't really do much. It does spread just a little bit. And the wings dip, of course. Next. Okay, ship 19, class A, details top of the screen. Now, I don't like orange, but this one's a little different. This one is orange, yellow, and black, instead of orange, white, and black. Um, very simple, sleek ship. Supercharged slots, not too bad either. We have three over on the right and one on the left, when you upgrade to West class, of course. In the air, you can see the full brightness of the yellow as well. So it's quite a rare color scheme. Next. Ship 20. Class A ship. Coordinates, portal address, top of the screen. Color scheme, red and black. Style, dragonfly. Unfortunately, not the full width wings. So I was a little disappointed with that. Some may like this though. Um, very simple ship. Just a bug and the wings and an undercarriage. Supercharged slots, we're gonna see two on the left. Now in flight, um, it would have been so much better with the full width wings, but we all know that apart from the 35%. Next. Okay, ship number 21, another class A ship. Color scheme, again, orange and yellow. That's two of these on this journey. This one is the hauler style. It's not a solid encased hauler. It does have the extensions on the back with prongs, multiple layers of wings. Do you like this color scheme? Supercharged slots, we can see two on the right, one on the left, and then as an S, it's two on the left, two on the right. Now, in the air, unfortunately, again, the rears don't spread out at all. It's just the wings that dip. Hmm, next. Ship number 22, class A ship, portal, coordinates top of the screen. Color scheme on this one is orange, white, and black. Not a lot of black, but it's there. Now, it's a wannabe tie style. Um, all closed on the ground. Supercharged slots, two in the middle, one on the right. But once you do take that in the air, you can see it does spread out and have a little bit of shape. Just unfortunate, at least for me, that it was orange. I'll stick some more red tie. Much better. Let's move on. Next. Ship number 23. Class A ship. Details top of the screen. Nice six eyes at the front. This is a blue and black hauler style. Again, it's not a solid encased hauler. This one just has the extensions at the back. Not bad. I do like these ones, soft spot. Now, unfortunately, supercharged slots, we're gonna see one on the left, one on the right, but it's guaranteed to be two together. Now, in the air, it doesn't spread. You didn't have much luck with the spreading haulers, but still, it is a nice looking hauler, and I like the six eyes on that. Let's move on, next. Ship number 24, class S ship, coordinates, portal details, 
top of the screen. Color scheme on this one is yellow and black. Very simple yellow bug with nozzle on the top and the underboards, which on most ships are a class as a pincer, but on this one more like skis. Supercharged slots, we can see one on the left, one in the middle, and two towards the right. Could be better. In the air, nothing's gonna change as it's purely a bug on skis. What would you call them? Skis? Surfboards? Either way, next. Okay, ship number 25, class A ship. Details top of the screen, color scheme red. Nice little red eyes in the front there as well. Now this is a, a wannabe tie. Half of it works out to look like a tie in the sky, but the top just moves up rather than curve round. But you'll see what I mean. Now supercharged slots, we can see two that are on the right together and one on the left. Now once it is in the air, then like I say, the bottom section does curve in, but the top just spreads up, but not curve. Either way, next. Okay, ship number 26 now, another class A ship. Detailed right at the top of the screen. This is a nice bright yellow, four eyes at the front, another Thai style one. On the ground, it doesn't look nothing special, just looks yellow, meh. Supercharged slots, one left, one middle, one right is an A. But once you get it in the air, if you like yellow, this is a nice Thai style. I've got a red one, so I didn't pick this one up myself, but either way, it's pretty nice. Do you like it? Next. Ship 27. Class A. Coordinates portal top of the screen. Color scheme, blue and black. Now this has lots of thrusters, lots going on. Pipes, prongs, extensions on the bottom that are pincers, extenders on the top, extender for, oh my God. Not my cup of tea though. Do you like this style? Supercharged slots, we can see one on the left, one on the right, but it's guaranteed to be two grouped. As you can see, there's two locked and it's an A. Now in the sky, Oh, like I say, lots going on, but only the wings dip. Other than that, it looks the same as on the ground. Let's move on. Next. Ship number 28. Class A ship. Details top of the screen. This is a lovely turquoise dragonfly. Turquoise, uh, white and black. Full width wings. Um, under carriage, which gives the extended thrusters and double prongs uh, at the front. Very nice looking dragonfly style. Uh, as an A-Class, two in the middle, one just to the left of that. If you upgrade it, you'll get the fourth further over to the left. But still, nice looking dragonfly, rare color. In the air, now you can appreciate the full width wings. It just finishes the dragonfly ships. Skinny ones, no. These, yes. Next. Okay, ship number 29. Another class A ship here. Details top of the screen. This is a blue and black, very simple, slim ship. And you can guess what style it is. Now, supercharged slots on this one are not too bad. We got one on the left, one in the middle, and one just to the right of that. Once you take it up in the air, as you can expect, it all spreads out. However, the bottom spreads out a lot further than the bottom, but it still maintains that Thai style, if you like them in blue. Do you? Next. Number... 30. This is another class S ship. Color scheme on this one is a blue and a black style. It's hauler. It has no encased areas, so it's all open. Lots of prongs going on. No extended thrusters on the wings. Supercharged slots, we can see one on the left, one on the right. In the space station, two on the left, one in the middle, one on the right. Now in the air, it doesn't spread out, but it's still looks nice this blue and black is solid i like this one i do like this one do you like this one though let's move on next okay ship number 31 another class s ship another dragonfly color scheme on this one is red white and black all the details are at the top of the screen now full width wings so you've got to appreciate that i just don't appreciate the white red and black yes now Supercharged slots, before you take to the space station, you can only see two, but once it's up there, two on the left, one middle, one on the right. In flight, you can appreciate the full-size dragon wings once again. It does finish these ships off. But do you like the white with the red and black? Next. Number 32 now. Class A ship, details top of the screen. And this one is for the skinny wing lovers. So it's a dragonfly with the skinny wings, yellow and black is the color scheme. It does have chicken feet though, no tank feet. Supercharged slots, as an A, two on the right, 
But if you upgrade it, you get three together on the right. Now, in the air, if you can forgive the fact it's got skinny wings, it looks pretty nice. Do you agree? Next. Number 33, another class A ship here. This one was one of the last finds on the journey. It's a white, simple bug ship with tank feet and the nozzle on the back. All white, even the engine bay. Not a bad looking ship. Now, I did try for the S, but failed. Supercharged slots, two on the right, one in the middle, one on the left, if you upgrade it's West Class. In the air, not a lot's gonna change, but you knew that. It's just a bug, and it's got tank feet, but it's white. That's what makes all the difference. It's white. Next. Okay, number 34. Now, this is only a Class A. I tried for an S so hard, but failed. This is a beautiful, beautiful blue dragonfly full-size wings that are pure blue once flipped blue tank feet multiple layers of blue wings blue 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 if you like this put a blue heart in the comments if you don't a blue bucket supercharged slots once it is s class two together on the left two together on the right this is definitely a blue heart for me i'm sure there'll be people that be putting blue buckets but this is definitely a blue heart look at this bad boy now there are more ships from this journey but due to the fact I've been feeling ill, I couldn't cover them all in one video. I will get round to doing the rest soon. However, as always, I appreciate everyone that's watched, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.